for everybody in here, I want you to understand this. Um, if you want to bring out the best in others, start with what you see in the mirror. And I'm going to repeat that one more time. If you want to bring out the best in others, start with the mirror. You know, I just think we live in a society now where so many people are trying to persuade others, trying to influence others, trying to bring out the best in others, but they're not starting with themselves. Uh, you guys that are familiar with me, you know, my favorite tagline I told myself in 2009, it all starts with you. So I want to make sure each and every one of us, and I know during growth day, you're getting all the tools to bring out the best in you, but it starts there because when you bring out the best in you, you are very contagious, period. I mean, obviously talking to people, strategies, tactics, but the greatest tactic is for you. And I heard Mel talk about this, for you to be a role model. And I like to call it being a real model, right? Making sure that it's real for you. Nothing that is just motivational inspiration, but making sure that it's real for you. So in doing that, the first thing I want to talk about today in that uh, section of being a real model is positive persuasion. Okay. People hear the word persuasion and we cringe. Like I got to persuade people. Yes, you are persuading people. You either are persuading people are one or three ways, positively, negatively, or neutral. Okay. And hopefully everybody in here, if you want to bring out the best in others, you have to be, have a positive persuasion. So how do I do that? Be the example, right? When they look at you, when they look at your life, can they trust you? When they look at your life, can they see it in you? The things that you're preaching, can they see? It doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. But I'm not talking about perfection here. I don't believe in perfection. I believe in progression. But can they see what you're trying to preach? You know, I coach kids. I coach my son's football team. And it's so funny. I have a positive persuasion over them because I have that social proof, right? They, they say, oh, he played in the NFL. I can try to bring out the best in him. I can talk to him. I can preach to him. But he, see, he sees dad doing it. He sees that in the gym. He sees that doing the cold plunges. He sees that taking care of his body. So now I've set an example for him that I'm actually showing him. I'm giving him a model of it. So for everybody in here, you have to ask yourself this question. How am I persuading people in my everyday life? And I'll even take it deeper. If I was around you for a week, if I was around you for a week, if you hit me up and said, Trent, I want to bring out the best in you. If you text me that, you hit me up in my inbox, say, Trent, I know I can bring out the best of you. So I said, okay, let me come with you for a week. Let me come to your house. Let me come kick it with you. Let me come shadow you. Would I see that you bring out the best in you? If I was around you for a week, would I see through your actions, through your character, through your rituals, through your standards, would I see that you bring out the best in you? And I really want you to think about that because there's times in my life where I've been trying to bring out the best in others, but I wasn't bringing out the best in Trent. And I don't know what this is called scientifically. Like, I'm, 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 I don't know if there's a scientific term for it. But when you are a reflection of what you're trying to give others, it just connects different. It hits different. You know, it comes from a place of, like, total belief. And if you want to know a secret to communication, to connection, which is a deeper form of communication, is coming from a place of conviction. So when I talk to people, when I'm trying to bring out the best of my kids, when I'm trying to bring out the best of my community online, when I'm tr trying to bring out the best in you right now, trying to bring out the best of the, the athletes that I coach, it comes from a place of conviction because I am trying to be a real model to them. I'm trying to show them that I'm on this journey with you. I'm not just preaching from you from the mountaintop. Even if I've been to the mountaintop, I'm still on this journey with you. So number one, when it comes to being a real model slash role model, have positive persuasion. And how you do that, like, just simply, my heart is going to persuade you because this is real for me, right? My, my communication obviously is going to persuade you because it's real for me. You know, my life is going to persuade you, my social proof. So if I'm trying to persuade you to bring out the best in you, you can see social proof in my life to see, man, Trent really knows what he's talking about. And what that does is it builds a bridge of trust. Because it's hard to bring out the best in other people if people can't trust you, right? If people don't know if it's really authentic, if it's really something that you truly believe in. So number one, positive persuasion. Okay, number two, and this is just the truth, y'all. Everybody in here, I know the word is overused and we cringe when we hear it. Influencer, right? I'm not an influencer. <laughs> it's so funny to me because yes, you are. Everybody in this world is an influencer. You might not be the influencer of like the social media term, 
but you are an influencer. Okay. Everybody in here. And my question I would ask you is, what are you influencing people to do? What are you influencing people to take action of? And it kind of piggybacks off of having that persuasion. What are you influencing people to move towards? Where are you influencing people to take action on in their life? Because you are influencing, you are influencing somebody. Just like persuading people, either negatively, neutrally, or in a positive way. You know, this is what I realized with a lot of people too. And trust me, this is the foundation of bringing out the best in the people is that a lot of people, and it's not you guys, because you guys are action takers. I call it eight percenters. You guys are the eight percent of people actually finish what they start. 92% of people don't. But I realized this, the ones that really bring out the best in others, they, in their own life, they have what I like to call intentional influence, right? They understand that everything that they do is an influence. I don't care if it's driving through Chick-fil-A line and, and influencing the person at the window to have a better day, right? The people that I know that are legendary at bringing out the best in other people, they are intentional with their influence. It's not by accident, right? It's not by accident. They wake up every single day with a mission that says, man, how can I make this, <laughs> man, how can I make this better? Right? How can I make this better? How can I get around this environment and make it better? How can I get into my job? And even though I hate my job, how can I still make it better? How can I get around my family and make it better? How can I get around my friends and make it better? How can whatever environment I step in, how can I make it better? And those that truly bring out the best in other people, they are consciously intentional with their influence. And then there's the other side of it. And a lot of people live here, just being real and straight up. There's people that live in this side where they are unintentional, right, with their influence. They are not aware with their influence. So they don't realize that they're influencing people by default. They're influencing people to give up. They're influencing pe people to, to live in fear. They're influencing people to, to act a certain way. They're influencing people not to do, not to follow through. So again, I have to put it back on you as I put it back on myself. So I'm talking to myself too right now. Are you intentional with your influence? Are you unintentional with it? And if you're unintentional, I need you to become very aware because you're influencing people regardless. And if you truly want to be the, if you truly want to bring out the best in people, you have to get more intentional. Okay. So number one, under that whole umbrella is being a real model slash role model. Make sure it's real for you. And I'll repeat that quote again. If you want to bring out the best in others, start with the mirror. Start with that person you see in the mirror. Because again, what happens is when you start doing it yourself, there's something called belief that happens. There's something called confidence that happens. And then you speak a different way. You communicate a different way. You walk a different way. Your aura is a different way. And so when you speak to somebody to get the most out of them, it's more believable. They trust you more because they like, it's something about them that I know that is real. Okay, so number one, be a real slash role model. This can be your day for personal growth. This can be that day you committed to and you remember and you go, that was the day I got myself a community. I got better coaches. I committed to making my life the absolute best that I could. This is that day. Make today your growth day. Click the button on this page and sign up right now.